Hello here. Uh, I'm just going to create a simple static routing with administrative distance uh, lab today. So over here I'm just showing you uh, the simple structure of router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4 and so on and so forth with uh, loopback addresses as shown over here and IP addresses uh, described for serial port 1 and 0. I know it's uh, quite uh, difficult to remember all these stuff so I'm pretty much sure that uh, it's going to be a little bit longer video than usual but uh, let's see how we can achieve all these stuffs that we have listed over here fine and simply working on it fine okay so uh, in today's lab uh, these things that we, I'm showing it to you are pretty much easier let me clear it out to some certain extent to make it a little bit visible okay so let's get started by configuring all the interfaces over here in the gns3 so a little bit fast tracking up, up uh, i'm just going to uh, keep all the four routers over here to cut the time short i have just fast forwarded it a little bit also connecting it uh, serial port 1 slash 1 uh, 1 slash 0 with 1 slash 0 and 1 slash 1 with 1 slash 1 fine so um, you can see over here i'm just going a little bit faster over here so as to cut the time a little bit slow uh, faster and it should not waste your busy time <laughs> okay so now over here i'm just going to type it out certain stuffs that you can see over here uh, it's 192.168 something dot something and everything all that i am saying over here is uh, loopback addresses i need to configure it uh, okay so uh, there are four loopback addresses 10.1 70.1 similarly uh, 50.1 and uh, 30.1 with this as an uh, what we call as a computer uh, in a way that are connected to routers directly or you can also treat them as uh, what we call as uh, simply um, a big giga giant network too by connecting it to certain uh, switches and all that stuff yeah i'm just going to provide a little bit serial port ip addresses that 40.1 and 40.2 to between router 3 and router 2 fine uh, i might have just misspelled all these things right now i'll be correcting it in a uh, simpler terms in coming time uh, router should two should be over here and router three should be over here uh, i'm just going to convert these things in short time fine it's not a big deal uh, we'll be renaming it in a very soon way okay so after these things uh, you can see uh, I have configured each and everything over here and now I'm just going to start all the routers over here in the meanwhile uh, in the background process I might hold uh, for some time and uh, rename all these things so as to cut the time short fine I'll be uh, switching the router 2 and router 3 in this context okay it's done fine so in the loopback address I'm just going to provide the IP address 192.168 10.1 uh, with uh, subnet mask 255 255 255.0 pretty easy and interesting similarly uh, interface s1 slash 1 you can see over here is uh, 192.168.80.2 with uh, ip address 255 255.255.0 i mean not ip address subnet mask fine and yeah one should not forget no shut command because actually in the real term it gives a no shutdown fine means the entire interface goes up easily similarly uh, in the next context i'm just going to provide interface s1 slash 0 with ip address uh, 192.168.20.1 255 255.255.255.0 .255 and no shutdown easy right so uh, this is how i i'm just going to similarly configure for router 2 3 and 4 respectively and then once again go ahead uh, with all these administrative stuffs for uh, configuration in router series fine yes 
let me wait okay so in router 2 the same procedure has been to be taken care of okay so interface look back 0 uh, in IP address I should be taking care of for 192.168.30.1 if not mistaken let me see if I can type it out okay I it's easy no shutdown fine and the similarly for interface s1 slash 0 you can see it's 192.168.20.2 uh, with 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown similarly for interface s1 slash 1 it's pretty much easier um, I can say 192.168.40.1 okay and then 255.255.255.0 and yes no shut down <laughs> okay so it's getting up slightly difficult hmm let me see for router 3 and yeah we will be then checking it out the interface brief command so as to just uh, be sure that everything has been configured very nicely i'm going into configuration terminal and then i'm just going to type interface 192.168.50.1 for that okay now uh, interface has one slash one 192.168.50.2 it's 40 right 255.255.255.0 and then no shut you can see that i have also now renamed the entire routers also in the backend process by posing it up so as uh, everything configures in the right manner as shown in the topology interface uh, s1 slash 0 is 192.168.60.1 if not mistaken 255.255.255.0 and no shut and similarly for outer r4 we can go ahead with r4 hmm. okay yeah just for the look back zero right ip address is 192.168.50.1 hmm. 255.255.255.0 no shut that's it and r3 is now completed yay okay so with the same uh, configuration we are going for r4 interface loopback zero fine i'm just going slightly slower in this context so as if you uh, you should not miss any of the part any part of this uh, information over here 70.1 and the space with 255.255.255.0 oh it's a little bit hangy okay now it's done no shut hmm, this is what happens if you do not have a good uh, facility of ram when you connect with virtualization with vmware fine thing <laughs> okay 60.2.255.255.255.0 and no shut with interfaces one slash one with ip address you can see over here is 192.168.80.1 with 255.255.255.0 and no shot yes it's done okay once again a little bit hangy okay done so as you can see over here uh, all the routers are now been configured so with all these things we just need to verify each and every aspects of over here um, let's ping it out hmm. ping 192.168.20.2 from r1 and 80.1 from r1 okay let's do it 192.168.20.2 yes it's done and 80.1 once again it's done okay similarly for r2 you can see over here i'm just going to ping 40.2 for r3 it's 60.2 and for r4 it's 80.2 fine i'm just going to ping the other end of the uh, router in a way fine it's easier so as to see the communication is getting correctly done or not okay so now it's done and it's working 
let's ping the another test that is uh, let's ping the loopback addresses fine yes uh, you can see we haven't configured any static routing it's just a simple basic lab so let's see what the output is to, on the terminal hmm. okay okay now let's ping it out 192.168.30.1 you can see it's not done similarly 50.1 and 70.1 fine from router r1 will not ping why because we haven't yet configured any routing protocol yeah and this in this session we are just going to use static routing so not to worry about but uh, as of now it's not pinging right <laughs> okay so let's wait for the output to come and then we'll be having a general aspects of learning okay huh. basically these two tests are done but certain tests are configured and certain not so let's task uh, let's start with the task 2 that all four routers should have a static uh, routing and should be reachable to each other in a way fine so with router one i'm just going to show it to you show ip interface brief fine so the ip addresses over here are 10 20 and 80 fine so except these uh, routes i am just going to configure other routes that are not available in my router fine so 30.0 should be if any packet from 30.0 comes in i should carry forward back to 20.2 right. okay the similar manner if any uh, 40.0 network packet comes in i'm just going to carry forward once again to 20.2 and what about 50 what about 60 and 70 fine okay you may wish if you like it uh, go ahead with uh, any of the other uh, protocols also in the reverse order fine but i'm just going in a clockwise direction okay so for router 2 configuration t do show ip address interest with pre in the uh, second router you can see it's 20 40 and 30 ip addresses so if any 10 um, ip uh, network has uh, is coming i will be forwarding it to 20.1 fine so IP route 192.168.10.0255.255.0 So I'm just going to forward it to uh, 20.1 Okay, if any uh, network with IP address 10 comes in, I'm just going to 20.1 Similarly, for any uh, IP addresses except 10, fine That is 50, 60, 70 I'm just going to forward it to 192.168 Simply 40.2 that's it fine so with 60 also and with 70 also hmm. slightly getting hanged but not to worry much okay i think so it's done so with uh, router 3 uh, any of the networks that's 10 20 30 40 fine comes in i'm just going it to forward it to 40.1 and the rest of the ip address is to 60.2 fine so ip address 192.168.10.0 should be forwarded to 40.1 fine next hop address that's what we call is fine and the for 20.2 it's 40.1 and for 30.0 it's 40.1 and for 50 60 40 50 60 is itself in the router so I'm just going to take care of 70 so it's done okay so router 3 is also now configured okay so with uh, configuration router of uh, router 4 let's go for so you can see in router 4 60 70 and 80 are already present but uh, we are all except all the uh, 60 70 80 we are going to forward all the requests to 60.1 fine i'm just going it in a clockwise direction so i'm just going uh, slit slightly in that way fine you may configure it in your own way also if you like it 
I'm just going to 60.1 20 also goes to 60.1 70 also goes to uh, like 10 20 30 40 and 50 goes to 60.1 right? and the router 3 will take care of all the other requests and yeah 60 70 80 are already present in router 4 so not to worry much about it so now let's ping it out okay? i'm just going to sh um, let you see all the static routers are represented by s over here fine alphabetical letter s okay so uh, you can see over here all the routes are present in each and every routers simple fine and it's configured easily now uh, ping in at 168 30.1 50.1 and 70.1 from router 1 it's done so let's ping from router 2 3 and 4 respectively so as to make you sure that it's working in a way and nicely done fine so this is uh, my friends uh, static routing that we are actually configuring it in all the networks and uh, this is how we work on it fine so 10 50 and 70 are now interconnected though in different routers okay so uh, i mean what's the use of it uh, static routing we have just configured in a default manner right but what if uh, let's go with another task uh, that that is the task uh, to be configured but okay that is the task now has to be configured is this fine uh, let's once again create a new route that is 50.0 all the uh, network from 50.0 should also get forwarded to 80.1 that's the route of 4 fine okay i show ip route uh, so do show ip route yeah so you can see over here there is only one route that is 20.2 and uh, now i'm just going to configure 192.168.80.1 uh, the another route fine and yeah now there are two routes for uh, reaching 250 network fine and that is 80.1 and 20.2 okay so let me show it to you so if I ping now, uh, it should be to do ping if not mistaken. Yes, do ping 80.1. And now I'm just going to show it to you. It's done, but the route test uh, is also getting pinged it out. So with these configurations, you can do it with easily uh, all these networks. Let me remove uh, 80.1 uh, connectivity and let me show it to you to again pinging it out fine oops i think so a little bit change a little bit of change has to be done in a way okay yeah it was not getting up fine now once again let me restore each and every stuffs over here hmm done okay so the task for has to be working with all these things uh, just going to configure two routes but this time i'm using administrative differences distance that is uh, administrative distance is uh, let me first uh, remove the route for 50 uh, network fine administrative distance decides and gives the priority by which you can uh, define the entire static routing fine so i want the priority 20.2 as the first priority and 80.1 as the second priority so i'm just going to define an administrative dif uh, distance that's ad fine so by default if you do not mention any ad that uh, the default uh, administrative dif distance is one fine so with today's session now i'm just going to type 192.168.50.0 uh, space 255.255.255.0 space 192.168.80.1 uh, if i mention 5 that means administrative distance the priority is fifth fine and if i do not mention anything fine the default uh, ad is one fine 
so hmm, let me press enter oops uh, I just forgot to remove one over here uh, five over here hmm. let me uh, make administrative distance of 20.2 as one fine so as to um, make the prioritize that is 20.2 should remain the first priority and uh, 80.1 should be the another priority so in this configuration you can see 20.2 uh, is the only route present for 50.0 and if I ping the entire stuff gets cleared it out fine and it's done so the process has been verified very easily so let me exit each and every router and copy run start that is running configuration to startup configuration to save all the configuration files fine for all the routers I just forgot to okay this is what happens when you are in hurry <laughs> okay so uh, in a way and I and now I'm just going to show uh, all these configurations and share it to you all people on the description section below fine do not forget to uh, see the description section below I'm just going I'm trying very hard for all these uh, lectures to come in up um, thank you all for all your responses and seeing now this big video in a short time um, do like subscribe and share my video and do not forget to see the link section below in the description I'm just going to share a lot of this material for this section also you can practice it at home fine thank you